Hello, you guys. I want to talk about Neville's Johnson prophetic message. Um, I can't remember the exact year because I had that video clip on my other channel that YouTube took down. It was called the Warriors Prayer Bootcamp. Some of you may remember my channel. YouTube took it down, so of course I set up a new channel. But I had that clip on my channel, and I remember it specifically very well. It was two messages God gave him for UK. You know, Neville Johnson was born in the UK, but he was raised in Australia because I think as a kid, either he or his younger sister, he said they had a dream, and their parent took the dream to the Lord, and the Lord told them they have to move across from UK to Australia. That's how he ended up in Australia the rest of his life. Now, the prophetic dream, uh, message that God gave Neville was he found himself, and this is in real life, this is not even like a dream or a vision, he found himself in the spirit he was taken in the spirit into the queen's bedroom and how he knew it was there because when she saw him she was in her nightwear according to him it startled her and he also was startled he said both of them were scared <laughs> both of them like so the first thing she asked him was how did you pass security so that tells you that was not a dream for her to ask him that question was it was real and he didn't answer that he didn't mention what he said to her when she asked him that question but he said to her she must allow her grandson, one of them, to become king. The oldest one, he mentioned the oldest one. Who's the oldest? William, I think William is the oldest, right? Yes. Never said to the queen in the encounter, the spiritual encounter. Maybe something like Elijah had, he was taken in the spirit. But anyway, and he told the queen that, you know, before she passed, she must crown William, the eldest grandson king, and not her son. And she said she cannot, because of protocol, she cannot, absolutely cannot do that. And never made mention to her that something else happened in history years ago that another person who should have been king was, somebody else was crowned. I can't remember the gist of that part, but I paid specific attention to the fact that he told the queen, you must appoint your grandson, William, to be king. Do not appoint your, your son, Charles. Because in order for God to fulfill Great Britain's destiny as a sheep nation, two of those two, two things must happen. First, they must come out of the breast. You want the breast it? Uh-huh. They must separate themselves from the EU. And the second one was she must appoint her grandson to be king. She said she cannot do that. And he said to her, you must do it. You have to do it. It's an instruction from the Lord. Well, she had passed a few days ago now. We all know that. And Charles has been made King Charles. So we know whose side she took. This is not a matter whether you like her, you don't like her, you respect her, you don't respect her. I'm just giving you the uh, playback from Neville's Johnson prophetic message. I searched all my YouTube videos, the ones that I could find. I even went to Facebook because I used to upload videos also on Facebook at that time. The past two, three days, I've been searching through hundreds of videos. I can't find it. And it's kind of, it was foolish of me not to even save most of my videos personally before they took my channel down. So I apologize. But I know specifically for a fact, I heard that from him. And I even had a clip on my channel that was taken down uh, about a year ago now. A Warrior's Prayer Boot Camp. And those of you watching this video, you can attest to what I'm saying is true. You can put in the comment section. But I know for a fact, whether you believe me or not is, is your problem. But I know for a fact, never had that experience that he was taken into the spirit, into the queen's bedroom. It was a shock to both of them. It startled her. He said it startled him too, that she had to ask him, how did you pass security? So that means it was real for her to ask that question. And he told her what she needs to do before her passing. That William was, excuse me. Charles must not, she must not appoint her son to be king in order for England to fulfill its destiny in God's plan as a sheep nation and not a goat nation. So one of the two were fulfilled. They came out of the EU, the Brexit. This was the second one. Well, now we know what, what became of the second one. So one out of two. Is it 50%? Anyway, the only thing I can say to all my British citizens and those people who love the British people, whether you're in America or, in, or Africa or across the globe, y'all just need to pray. And I know many people are going to come with the British colonization. Yes, I know they colonized the whole world. 
Mm -hmm. But that's a whole other subject. I just came to talk about that dream or that experience that Neville Johnson had. So if you want to talk about the colonization of Great Britain in the whole world, no problem. I'll do a second video on that part. Okay? This is Dagnet. Thank you. Do me a favor. Please share. Please subscribe. And what else? Leave your comment below. And let's continue to pray for God's agenda and God's will and plan and purposes for each nation to be fulfilled according to his plans. That the enemy's agenda to disrupt and interrupt God's plan for this nation and for humanity. When I say this nation live in America, that the enemy's plan must be disrupted, that God should invade this nation and the world with his plans. Because the devil, his messengers, they have done a good enough job trying to disrupt heaven's agenda. If you look at this nation and the globe, you wonder, has the world gone mad or do I dream it? Bless you.